Blammo. All right, we are back, guys. 22 May 2022. And the markets are kind of holding. We got a Bitcoin at 29,800. Oh, let's see, up 1.26% in the last 24 hours. Down about 1% last week. Ethereum, boo, boo, Ethereum, boo, 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 Ethereum merge, boo, POS, boo. All right, uh, Ethereum at 2,000, up 1.3 for the day, 1.35, down 3.67 for the week, and so on and so forth. Uh, I got a couple stable coins in the top tier hanging in there. In general, just everything seems to have plateaued off. Does that mean we're still on an edge? It could drop further? Yes, anything could drop further, guys. And it could go up, it could go down, it could go sideways, it could go backwards. Those are half the idiots on YouTube that say that stuff, and that's why I make fun of it, because nobody knows. Come on, it's all it's all voodoo. Uh, if you like the coin, if you like the project, you invest in it. But Luna, Luna, as we see right here, is a cautionary tale. It can always go to zero and be delisted. You gotta be careful. Uh, my my strategy is I'm getting out of all these altcoins and putting everything in Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is the king. Bitcoin is the digital real estate. Liquid gold, not liquid gold, digital gold. And uh, that's my strategy. But again, hey, it's not financial advice. I'm just some idiot on YouTube making a video with a microphone with fans blasting behind me near a server room. And it's hot. It's hot outside. It's humid. And it's getting hot in here. So that's, that's me. If you listen to me, you're a fool. All right, let's go. Let's jump around and see what's happening. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, what are the biggest? Uh, what are the biggest movers for the last day? All right, we have oh, not not really much of a big mover. I do have Zill. Look at that, rank sixty seven, up uh, up eight percent the past day, up ten percent in the uh, last week. You can mine on Ezil. You can go to the mining pool. You can mine Ethereum and Zill, get Zill rewards as well. Like almost a dual mining type situation and get paid to the Zill wallet. And then you uh, will get staking rewards on that Zill you hold in your wallet. So again, it's like dividends, compound, compound. You just keep reinvesting that stuff. If you're into that stuff, I think that's a win. Any coin I can put in a wallet and stake and just have it compounding or stick on a smart node and compound short of setting up setting up your own node like with Raptorium or uh, uh, what are the, some other ones uh, Flux or something like that. That's a way to go too because you just get constant rewards, payouts now and then, and that that's the way to grow your wealth. Not your, well, I hate to say wealth, your stack of coins. So that's something to look at instead of buying and just holding and not getting anything on it. Maybe you just want to start accruing compounding which is uh, the secret to just building up your uh, building up your stack, your stash. And that's the way I look at it. Again, it's just like dividend. Uh, dividend reinvesting to me, compounding interest, compounding dividends, reinvest every quarter you get paid out or whenever you get the rewards. That's my strategy that worked for me. But with crypto, you don't know if these coins are stable, if they're going to be around again. Look at what happened to Luna. You know, come on, that's a big risk. And that's that's almost a cautionary tale of what could happen. Uh, yeah, when this Ethereum POS merge happens, and they're talking about maybe August now, I I don't know. I think they're rushing it. I think they're under a lot of pressure. Uh, even NFTs are kind of fading out. So it, I don't know. I just think all this stuff, it's like weird timing. And it may be a linchpin that just destroys the crypto market. That's just my hunch. Uh, what are they saying? Here's an article. This guy, co-founder Vitalik Buterin says the uh, merge could happen in August. There's also risk of delay. So again, they don't know. I don't know why they even put out statements. Just say we're working on it. I mean, that's kind of a that's kind of a fence-sitting statement. It's kind of a political statement. We don't know. It may happen, but it may not happen. It may go backwards, may go forwards, may go sideways, may go, may go down. Anyway, just keep mining. Profits are way down, obviously. Uh, is your electrical bill going to be higher than your profits? Are you just stacking coins? That's your strategy you got to figure out. My goal is to mine. I'm mining Ethereum for this last payout. Then I'm going back to two miners. Why? Because I'm going to mine Ethereum. It's still the most profitable on these damn GPUs I have. And I want to get paid out in Bitcoin because Bitcoin, again, again, is the king. Digital gold, 
digital real estate, store of value, if you will, even though it's down, obviously. I'm really bummed by that, that it is so tightly tied to the uh, equities market. I was hoping crypto would be its own little, you know, little baby out there running in its own little ecosystem, not affected by the uh, legacy stock market and all. But it is. Is the Fed controlling it? Nobody knows. We're just we're just pawns. It's a big club. It's a big club and we ain't in it. So we're just along for the ride. Right. So that's 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 what you got to take out of that. Oh, what are these saying? Following the statements from Ethereum developer Preston Von Loon. These are all like Bond villain names, you know, uh, at the per permissionless conference. What are those? Ethereum co-founder Buterin has further confirmed the merge will likely happen in August. He noted, however, that it's quite possible there is still a risk of delay and the merge could happen in September, or October, maybe November, maybe December, maybe January 2023 or February or March or April. You just don't know. Uh, with software having been in that world, software developers are freaking lazy by nature. They don't want to do the most efficient job possible. They don't want to test. That's why you have testers. They don't want to listen to their testers when they come back with the results because then they got to fix the bugs they made. And then that just becomes a spiral down a rabbit hole that you never do any forward momentum on the initial task you were doing. And uh, stuff just keeps getting worse and worse. And uh, these developers just want to cram stuff in just for the sake of cramming and not follow process. Most developers are lazy and they're not disciplined. And um, some are divas too. And they think their they're, they're poop don't stink, but it does stink. And uh, that is the world I come from. I work with these fools. And uh, some are nice, some are decent. Most are just the worst people on earth. And uh, you got to just take them for what they are. Some are bright and all that stuff. But again, the first one to the trough doesn't really give you the best product. You know what I mean? And a lot of these guys are academics who don't even know how to get anything out the door to be used by a consumer. They just want to sit around and draw bubbles all day and without actually implementing anything. So maybe this guy's starting to realize, oh my God, I got a bunch of developers who just want to like have ETH and make money and go on vacation and call in sick or and play video games all day. I'm sorry, I'm from the world. I'm, I'm busting on it. I'm sure there's some good devs out there, but in general, most devs are lazy and they're not disciplined. And they have big ass, big ass egos and attitudes. And it's just funny to laugh at. Um, me, I'm just kind of a blue collar dev sometimes. And I just get in there and get the stuff done. And uh, I move on. I don't really care about the egos and stuff. I just want to do a good job. And I have testers work with me and I listen to them. And we just try to make a good product that the user wants to use. But this is a huge thing. If they mess this up, it could be bad news for everything. So I don't know what they're doing. Why are they messing with it? Go follow the Twitter threads on these guys. And I forgot the dude's name. Oh, crap. Um, but one of the guys keeps posting. And all these financial people are kind of like, what are you doing? Why don't you just keep proof of work? And I don't know. There's some kind of motivation. And I think it is because a lot of these guys hold Ethereum. They haven't mined it. It's all this pre-mined Ethereum they're holding. And they're, somehow they're going to get some huge payout from it. Who knows? There's always follow the money. And maybe that's the motivation to kick this thing out the door. But uh, I don't know. I'm mining to Bitcoin. I just don't believe in Ethereum other than the fact that it's making me money from these crappy GPUs I have. And I uh, just want to move on from there. So, yeah, who knows what's going to happen with this merge. Again, just be uh, cautious out there with holding Ethereum. Keep mining it as long as you can, as long as your electrical costs don't make you broke. Uh, yeah, just be mindful of that. All right, let's go on. So what is the Ethereum mining profitability right now? Holy crap. We're at 0 0.0246 USD a day. It's becoming ridiculous. I think it's down by half. Let's go to the three-month outlook. Look at that. It's, oh, man, it just keeps trending down. And then when you go to Google Trends as well and you look in crypto mining and stuff, the trending has just gone down. Everything is just losing interest in crypto mining Losing interest in crypto a little bit, the greed and fear index is off the off the uh, off the chart. Almost, it's, it's at extreme fear for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So people are nervous. Does that mean you buy? I don't know. I have no idea. Whatever I do, I always do it incorrectly and I fail. So do not ever listen to me. If anything, do the opposite. I don't know. Everything I buy goes to crap, man. I just am not a buyer. I'm not a trader. Uh, yeah, I don't get it. Why is it? It's just, it's not for the average person. You end up losing money. All right. What else do we got going on? That is pretty much it. We got the, uh, market the way it is. What am I doing? 
I am actually playing around right now. I switched over to Unminable just to play around. And I have some CPUs. I was mining some other coin. I go, I'm starting to think, why am I mining coins I have no faith in? I don't know anything about. I'll get a couple thousand and just put in a wallet and let it sit. Uh, but I said, I need to get some coins that are kind of ranked. So I looked at the CRO, which is um, crypto.com. Let's go over here, CRO. Go to my watch list. Most of these last night, I consolidated into Bitcoin, like some of my... Um, stupid little coins like pirate chain and stuff at a loss. I took a loss. I just wanted to get it in Bitcoin. I didn't want to hold them anymore. Uh, I have some of these from 2016 red coin. They're in a wallet staking. So I'm just letting it ride because I am getting dividends. Same with Raptorium. I'm getting uh, uh, compounding stuff, rewards on that. Same with Varus coin. Same with Voyager. So a lot of these I'm just getting compounding. So I figure let it compound as long as I don't need it. Uh, if they go to zero, they go to zero. But again, if they don't, one day I'll just flip it to Bitcoin, right? Zill, same thing. Kronos is what I got. So it's ranked 19. I have Litecoin. I hate it. I bought this back in 2017. Oh, it's going to go to the moon, like everything else. Of course, it didn't. It went to the uh, ground. Uh, the owner sold right away, like 200 at 200, and people got irked in him. But he's still out there doing stuff. And it is still one of the cheapest, fastest ways to move your uh, crypto around the networks. So that's a, there is a use for it, but I'm really getting nervous holding it, And but I'm way down. So it's almost one of those things that maybe if it spikes up a little bit, dump it into Bitcoin. Just build up that stack of Bitcoin because there is scarcity with Bitcoin. There's only so many. And uh, that is, again, the king. Uh, so I am doing Kronos. And what you can do is you can go to Unminable. I know some people love it. Some people hate it. I don't care. It's 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 a hobby. It's not really speculation on this one because you're actually getting a coin that's ranked in the top 20. And uh, what you do is you set up your CPU and it goes and it mines the random X algorithm. What is random X? Random X is the Monero algorithm. So you're mining Monero on unminable, basically setting the algorithm to uh, to um, random X. And uh, you're getting your payout in uh, the coin you mine. So CRO in this case. So it's kind of like Zerg pool in a way where you can mine whatever coin you want to mine and choose the payout you want. Like you can mine Bitorium on Zerg pool and say, I want to get paid in Bitcoin. It's going to take a long time depending on how big your rigs are, but you'll eventually get paid out in Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, same concept here. The minimum payout is 75 crow. Uh, but yeah, this is an exchange. It's uh, backed by, you know, a lot of people and uh, like Binance, it may go up, it may go down, it may go sideways, it may go to zero. Who knows? It's just something to try and just to see how much I can accrue. And right now it's not even trading that great. Uh, where are we? CRO is up 1% today at 19 cent. And uh, you can look, it's up and down, it's up and down. It's just something to try again. With these CPUs I have, I'm just kind of playing. I know it's a waste of electricity. Uh, the bread and butter right now, even though it's not much, is the GPU mining with Ethereum. Yeah. All right. That's where I'm at. That's why I want to get a little Sunday morning video. Everyone else is putting out streams and videos. I figure I need to do one because I got lots to say. No, <laughs> I'm just bored. I need something to do. I just want to share what I am doing. Again, I'm bouncing all over the place with the CPU mining. Uh, I wanted to try Kronos and see if I could do it on a mineable. Whenever people say they hate something, I always go check it out. Like people don't like NiceHash. I went to NiceHash when they first cracked the LHR. They did 100% LHR lock. I had no problem with it. The thing was fine. It was easy to use. Uh, kudos, right? Well, I don't know why people are hating on it. Uh, maybe they had a bad experience. Big deal. Whatever. I used it. Did my own. My God, I did my own critical thinking. Oh, my God. I didn't listen to everybody else. I actually sat down, tried it, came to my own conclusion, said it's fine. It works. It's good. Whatever. Um, they got a good GUI. They manage your stuff for you. All right. That's fine. I mean, Hive OS does the same thing. Whatever. So nice hash was fine. Unmindable, same thing. It's fine. Uh, Zerg pool charge fees too. If I wanted to get pay out in different coins or whatever, Zerg pool charge a lot of fees. I mean, no one hates on them that much. So I use Unmindable. It works. It's fine. It was easy to set up. I'm using the XM rig software. You can download their miner as well, but I'm just using that. And it's, you know, I get points. Se uh, I get, I'm paying 0.75% mining fee. Why? Because they just said set up a referral code, put that in your, um, your batch file with your uh, wallet and your uh, worker name 
and you'll get a discount. Hey, why not? I'm in for discounts versus paying 1%. So again, if guys say something bad about something, hey, that may be a flag or a signal to go check it out. See for yourself, make your own conclusions. I know everyone today just wants to follow the herd, but do your own thinking, man. It may pay off and we'll see what happens here. If this doesn't work, I may flip to Dogecoin, you know, since it's so cheap right now. I'll mine a random X and get Dogecoin payout. You never know, right? All right, guys, that's all I got, man. I'm all talked out. I don't know what else to say. Mining's down. Everything's looking pretty bleak. This Ethereum stuff is hanging over everyone's head. And I think when this thing goes POS, I'm oh, man, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm really worried. I don't think it's going to do well for anything. I just think there's a lot of problems coming, guys. So just buckle down. It's not all rainbows and unicorns. It can actually get bleak. And uh, everything's looking bad right now. We're in, the, we're in a dark times, man. And there's lots of reasons for that. You can draw your own conclusions. Uh, but yeah, just hang in there and keep uh, keep your head on a swivel and keep your eyes open. Just don't trust the system. If something doesn't look right or seem right, maybe it's time to move on to something else. Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows. All right. This is all for fun. This is a hobby. It's an expensive hobby, but it's actually making some money yet. So go forth. Keep doing great things. Have fun with it. Uh, yeah, again, not financial advice. Uh, you, if you guys know better, let me know. I'm always just collecting information and finding what works best for me. Again, I'm just an idiot in a server room sweating with noisy fans. <laughs> oh, my God. This is crazy. Uh, all right. I'm out. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye.